Hi, my name is Leonardo Galvan, and today we're going to be covering sixth grade music. And uh, today's lesson is about uh, creating your own uh, rhythmic and melodic phrases. Today's tip is uh, in creative expression and performance. The student will, the student creates and arranges music with the specified guidelines. The student is expected to. And again, the, the tip is 4A. We create rhythmic and melodic phrases. Okay. So today we're going to cover rhythmic and melodic. First, we're gonna cover the rhythmic portion of the lesson. Uh, here's a quick uh, review uh, for, for note values. Here we have a whole note, which equals four beats in the measure. Here we have a half note, which equals two beats of the measure. We have a quarter note, same as the half note, but uh, uh, written in on the inside, and that equals one beat the measure. We have an eighth note, which equals half the value of the quarter note. And here, I added this to our legend just because we have some notes that have it. The dot simply means you have you add half of the value of the given note. So for example, if we have a, a, a half note and it has a dot to the side, we just add simply two plus whatever that is, which is one. So in total that, it's gonna be three. three uh, Three beats in the measure. Right here, we're not. We're, I wrote down this simple uh, rhythmic phrase, and it, I'm gonna clap it down. We're gonna go at a, at a slow speed, just so everybody can follow along. We're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four. 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 One and two, three and four. So that's the eight bars that I wrote. It's simple, a little confusing, but just clap and you should be able to follow along. It also helps if you tap your foot to the beat. Uh, now I'm gonna play it on my trumpet. I'm gonna play it on a, just a unison note, just so you all can hear how it's gonna sound. And here we go again. At one, two, one, two, three. So there you had a chance to hear how this eight bar sounds like. And we're gonna try again, just clapping it a little bit faster. Uh, that, had, that, uh, that will help you count, just so you don't lose track of the beat. A little bit faster, one, two, three, four. 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 Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the uh, melodic uh, phrase portion of our of our teak today. Uh, I'm gonna since I'm gonna be playing the, the trumpet. It's important to note that this is in a B flat transposition, but don't worry about that for now. Uh, we're in the key of, of D major and the treble clef. The treble clef, as you might recognize it, that decides where we put the notes in our in our staff. Again, we have the same eight measures, and we're gonna do a simple harmonic progression. One, four, one, five, one, one, four, five, one. There's a five seven right here, but you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and again, simplize uh, melody, and we're gonna count it first. So just tap your foot with me, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
So that's how it, that's how the rhythmic portion of this melodic uh, phrase goes. Rith rhythm and, and melodies go hand in hand because, well, you need to know how much a certain note has uh, in rhythmic value. So just tap your foot with me. Now I'm gonna play you the little excerpt just so you can uh, see how it sounds. One, two, three. they're not just picked out at random they do follow a harmonic chord progression like here the one just simply means it's the first chord of uh, of this scale with if it's in D that's why we started off with the with the D and we end we ended off with a, another D since we ended up with the with the one chord right here okay so uh, I deleted the previous melody that we had the other one you recall is very simple some just whole notes, half notes, quarter notes. Uh, this one's a little bit more advanced. And as you can see, it's gonna be the same chord progressions. One, four, five, one. And we come back here, one, four, five, seven. Again, don't worry about the seven. And we finish with our one. Same chord progression as we had. Uh, the point of this is just so you know that you can create very, like, a. a a, a varied amount of uh, different melodies with the same chord progressions. Just because you came up with something doesn't mean you can uh, substitute that and write something else. Uh, this one's slightly more advanced, and we're gonna count it. This one has uh, some eighth notes included, so again, tap your foot. That'll count. That'll help you count. Uh, let's start again. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three. Four, one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four, one, two and three and four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three and four, one and two and three, four, off. So that's how you count it. Again, as you can hear, it's a little bit more complex with the eighth notes being included. Now let's hear how it sounds on the trumpet. One, two, three. Just by seeing it, you can tell how complex it is. Uh, again, we're incorporating rhythm and melodies. So the possibilities of creating your own melodic phrase and sounding like someone else, it's, it's very, there's not a very high chance of it sounding like someone else's. It might sound similar, but it's not gonna be exactly the same. Everybody's thoughts are, are different from each other's. Uh, and this will conclude our lesson plan for today. Uh, again, this is creating uh, for creative expression and performance, and it's creating rhythms and melodic phrases.